fishing, it's fine, but hooking is the only way. We're going to show you how to catch some fish today. Hey guys, I just got back from a great trip from Alaska. Um, I went after typically targeting a fish called a black cod. It's actually a sable butterfish. It's one of the highest price um, commercial fish caught and they're only caught in Alaska. They do have black cod around here on the west coast but it's a different variety and it doesn't taste anything like the one that they get in Alaska. So this lodge I went to they, it took them many years to figure out how to catch them because they're down anywhere from 17 to 2,000 feet down. And you possibly can't reel 2,000 feet. You, you wouldn't make it. So they had to figure out how to do it by using a four pound weight, the kind of rod they use, the line, um, the fish, because when they come up and you bring them up, they spin all the time. It's a fish that doesn't have a bladder. So if that fish comes up, five feet to the boat gets off it goes right back down 2,000 feet and it doesn't have any problem going back down no bladder it's one of the best eating fish that i've ever eaten the limit is eight per year so an average fisherman can only catch eight and you only can have four a day so two of my days on these trips are just targeting black cod but it's one of the best eating fish that you could ever eat had a great trip um, I took a group of 20 of us go and um, we have a great time. Catch a lot of fish and um, watch the video. It's pretty cool. Coming into Juneau now. Very close to the Where we are, and what, where, where, what is this area called? Yeah. What is this area called? Shit, I don't know. Here we are, and shit, I don't know, Alaska. <laughs> it doesn't matter, because today is going to be a banner day. So, what we do is we flip it forward, and it's electric reel. And this is in meters. 520 meters here, <laughs> so it's going to take about 8 to 10 minutes to bring it up. Well, we're fishing down uh, probably about 1,700 feet. So we're 1,700 feet down. You have to use electric. You can't reel that hard. It's about 15 minutes to come up. And usually you can tell kind of Fishing hat, I'm just bouncing. Heavy. Huh? Heavy. I'm hoping it's a big one because the reel seems to well, be grinding away. This is an act. Well, you can get off the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I, only, I only missed one yesterday. Huh? But it's because she was really too fast. Yeah, I'm at the swivel, Kenji. How much more can I reel? I'm at the swivel. 124. He's coming up. Hope he's a big boy. So you get over oh, here. did you see him boop it? Kenji's hmm? gonna gap it. Let your mom reel. Mom, you're gonna reel this one in. Once the uh, electric reels get up about 10 feet to the boat, the reel shuts off, so you have to reel it up. And then once I see the swivel, I grab the mono, and then I'll gaff the first one. Remember, there's two hooks on here. So I'll wait till it comes up and then grab the mono, stick the fish with the gaff, flip them in. And then I always look down below on the second hook because there might be another fish. Ah! We got one! The first black cod! Ah! Is that a black cod? Oh my God, it's so exciting! I'm a 
Coco got him. Oh, and then he got him, him too. Oh, don't look at him now. You got another one. Do you? Oh, the back cod are just like tuna. They need to be bled right away. So I just grab them and I, I just grabbed the gill with my hand and ripped it, just peel it off. The guide, he'll use a knife. I just use my fingers and rip it out. But you want to bleed them so that gets all the blood out of the fish and it'll taste a lot better. Four pound weight. And what do you use to bait? Uh, we got some arrowtooth flounder, and Pacific gray cod, and some uh, pink salmon. Is that the normal diet of a black cod? Uh, no, that's what they eat. You see it caught off that squid? I saw a squid on the ground. Yeah, right here. Oh. We use two hooks. When you're bringing these black cod up such deep depths, they constantly spinning and twisting, so you lose a lot of fish on the way up. But a lot of times, you know, when you get them up by the boat, they're just spinning in circles. So you really have to be careful and try to be real accurate with that gap. And then a lot of times I notice that the guys don't change their leaders a lot because it's a 100 pound test. But once in a while, you know, we do break a line, but most of the time they'll get off because they just constantly twist all the way up. Oh, oh, we missed one! Whoa! One, one. one got broken off! Oh. Yeah. When, you get, when you get a double and they spin, oh. it snaps it. Kenji, did you see it break off? Yeah, I can tell by the lure. The it, it, went, it went up, yeah, right? It got a lot lighter, yeah. yeah, the tippet went up. Yeah, when you get a double and they spin opposite directions, it'll spin the leader till it. Snaps like that right in between. It's good to know there's fish down there. When we bleed him out, put him in this bucket. Good job, Mom. <laughs> Alan's going for a double. Good job, Alan. Get him in here. Woo! Double up. Yeah. Oh, he's a nylon too. Yeah. <laughs> well, got a double. He's a nice one. What you got? Yeah. Two very beautiful, nice black cards. Here's our gaffer. <laughs> what do you think you got, Alan? It looks 
looks like a halibut. How do you I know? Don't you don't know what you've got here. You gotta get your thumbs up. It's fighting like one. Put your heart into it. <laughs> Oh, you see that turbot? All right, this is our last limit. Last of our limit for the whole trip. We're going to limb out. Into the head, baby. She won't even be able to reach the line. Reach out there, dead line. Nice one, don't mess up. Big one. Don't jack that one. Oh no. Get him in the head. The swing. <laughs> Check one, strike two. <laughs> Got him in the head. <laughs> Woo! Last of our limit. Good job. Good one. Good one. <laughs> Is there a good job? You missed him twice. Hey guys, we limited out. Woo! Those were practice <laughs> <now. laughs> Big one. Big one. That's a nice one. Okay. Get the Fishing is fine, but hooking is the only way. We're gonna show you how to catch some fish today. 